Hey everyone, Christopher Beaster, and today I'll be showing off a new mod that I produced this weekend. Originally, today was supposed to be a Valentine's Day themed mod, however due to some hiccups and really just being unable to get the code to work, that is really no longer the case. So instead, I'm going to present a mod that I just produced because I was working on a code bank, and I present the first ever Elster reskin mod. This is the Yule reskin mod, where you can dress up Elster as a Yule. Today I will showcase this mod, explain how it works from a coding perspective, which is going to be important for even non-coders, and then give some details on my next project of this kind. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. First up, this mod is pretty simple. It takes our lovable little Elster unit and changes her into a corrupted Yule. The type of Yule depends on the level. In the Penrose and S23, the classic Yule will be the appearance she takes. In Nowhere, the heavier corrupted variant with all those guts and the white eyes, that's going to be your appearance during Nowhere. And if you use the mod in Rotfront, you will adorn the appearance of the red tinted Yules that frequent those halls. I will take a moment now to showcase all of these objects using the camera perspective mod that I designed. Hopefully you find this as cool as I do. I think the designs of the Yules are rather interesting and being able to retexture Elster I think is a large step in a forward direction. So time for some nerd stuff. How does this work and why does it matter? Well simple, it loads in Elster and the Yules materials and swaps them by referencing their file and game object items. It uses a custom method in the VSL code bank to achieve this. This methodology is actually why the mod doesn't even work in some levels, as sometimes the referencing of the Yules is flawed, and thus the mod doesn't fire, which would mean I have to fix this, and that is something I intend on fixing. So why do you, the average viewer who doesn't produce mods, care? Well, it's because it pertains to my next major project, which is something that you guys can actually interact with. This VSL code bank sets up the ability for me to begin production of SIRS, or the Signalis Universal Reskin mod. This will be a large mod that will essentially allow users to create custom textures for 
all of the characters in the game without writing a single line of code. So this is going to take some time to develop, and it's going to be a lot of work. But this is a massive step in the right direction of making it something possible for me to create. Hopefully you all are looking forward to that. And honestly, aside for the future of SIRS, I don't really have much to talk about today. My original plans didn't end up working out, so this is all I've really got. I hope you enjoy this mod and video, and if you liked my videos, feel free to subscribe. It helps the channel out. And even if you'd like to talk to me or other Signalis fans about the game, theories, lore, or even mods, I have a link to my Discord VSL below. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all well next time.